That's a video game? Where's the rest of it? That's it. What kind of game is this? Jess, I'm wondering if I can start with you. You put that helmet on for the first time. What is that experience like? Is it cold? What does it feel like? Give me everything. Okay, the first time, that was actually the first day ever that I was shooting. So I put the helmet on. It is cold, you're right. It was perfectly shaped, molded to my head because we all had them measured for us. So John has his own one, I had my own one. It was a bit like being in a sort of isolation tank in so much as you can't see anything, you can't really hear anything. You know that life is going on around you, but you can't, there's no way of connecting with it. It felt a bit like being mummified alive. I'm imagining, Zine, that you didn't have any interaction with the helmet, right? The silver helmet at all. Like it wasn't ever on set when you were on set. Not at all. Bummer. I want to have one. If you spend long enough in there, your eyes can't really focus on anything until in one split second, and it's a very disturbing moment, you start to look at your own eyeballs reflected in the uh, in the very highly polished kind of silver surface. And that's a weird thing when you can't hear, you can't see anything, but you're just looking into your own eyes from a couple of inches away. You, you discover quite a lot about yourself. I was gonna say, um, did you meet yourself in there? <laughs> like, <laughs> I met myself and you know what? I'm not a fan. <laughs> no, I'm not, not a fan of the guy, to be honest. The job between me and Derek Sung, who directed the first two episodes, was what's the reaction when she comes out of the game? Because we hadn't shot any of the game stuff yet. So I was like, Derek, what do you think? Is, her, is it bigger or smaller? He's like, I don't know, but I'll know it when I see it. So it was just us kind of drafting and trying all these different ways of like, what actually is that reaction? Does she just go floppy? So it was a really fun day of collaboration. There was a scene that we were shooting yeah. uh, when we were at uh, Jack's, Jack's house. house that I, I, I tampered with it a little bit. But you tampered I, with I, it? I, I tend to stay away from props that could Graffiti. be expensive. And so I kind of just look from afar and go, hmm, that looks cool. And then kind of keep my distance, you know. I kept wondering about the prop master. They'd have to come and like rub fingerprints all off anytime time. someone. Yes, yeah, actually, yeah. Between every take, no lies. They take it very serious. <laughs> I'm a mom. And every time I saw it, I'm like, oh, that thing's going to pick up fingerprints. Like there's no tomorrow. And I almost said that just now because every time somebody touched it, I'm a mom too. Every time somebody touched it, they came in with the spray to wipe it off. That's what they were saying. I was like, man, that must have been the hardest working person on that set those days. Absolutely. That and all the chrome, you know, yeah. that guy was, he was amazing. I did put it on uh, when, when we were, well, we had it in that scene in episode three. Uh, yeah, and it, so there was one kicking about and I did, uh, I did pop it on. And I also met myself. Um, yeah. It's quite intimate, quite disappointing. Yeah. Yeah. We're not all that, are we? We're not, yeah, not, not, not all that.